numbers. All right, guys. So what we're going going on here is this is a hash we built a while ago, Brian's, and he was washing the engine bay, and a rag got sucked up in the timing belt, and uh, it jumped three teeth. So we just reset the timing, and we're gonna do a compression check, make sure all the cylinders have compression, and see if there's any bent valves or anything. And we'll get back to you. All right, guys. The really big one. Yeah, so I, I thought I clicked start, but I didn't click start. But we did the compression check, and this one was 150, 147, 150, and 160. So all the cylinders are good. All the cylinders have compression. And I'm just gonna button it back up, and get it back together, and uh, see if it fires up. And if it fires up, we'll send it back home to him. I mean, it's been sitting in his garage for two years now because he ran a rag through it while cleaning it. You got I mean, you gotta be careful cleaning your motor. If you're cleaning the valve cover, I wouldn't recommend doing it with it on if you don't have a timing cover. Those are important. All right. Fired up nice. Everything seems to be sounding all right. It's kind of noisy, might need a valve adjustment, but. Nothing seems to sound like it's clacking. Yeah, it's saying it's super lean. Yeah, like 22, 20. It's going, oh, here it goes. It's coming back to life. Probably just some warm up enrichment or something. It might have been the injectors partially clogged or something and they just cleaned up. Oh, from being stuck stu yeah. closed for two years? Yep. Yeah. No leaks? No leaks yet. I mean, hopefully there's no leaks. Things can still not swell and stuff, so. It's awesome. Saviors. Right? I'm sure he was dropping logs. Very much so. Yeah. I just cool it from corn in the last car I did. Nice, nice. This is the next morning, but because my phone died last night and I didn't film any of it, which sucks, but this is the cam card. And so that's about lift and lift, and then that's the durations. And then this is the conversion to lift to inches. Conversion to inches because the gauges here are in inches. And then, uh, that was all converted to inches as well for the duration and all that. But, so, this is Fong's mower. He had a blue EM1 we did a long time ago. And it unfortunately made its way to the wall. But, we've been working on getting him back going we just agreed up his motor got one of the cams in got the cams on degreed tight I mean I'm gonna have to take all this part and take those pins out so we take the the VTEC pins out and we log VTEC so there's one solid pin in there that locks VTEC so then it opens with full lift and then you start by zeroing these guys out and figuring out like ours was it was that was too far but 
it was at seven, seven, and then 14. And so then you would figure out the difference, which the difference is seven, and then you'd find the half of that, which is three and a half. And then you would add that to seven, which would give you 10 and a half, actually, which is, that's a little far, but 10 and a half's right about there, which is actually true zero, true TTC in that sense. I mean, it's not gonna be on now. Now that we degreed the cans and everything, and we got 108, and we did 115 and a half, because, I mean, we, we were at 114 and a half, and then we overshot it to 115 and a half, and then we counteracted back, and we went way too far. And then we got it back to 115 and a half, but with slightly different numbers. So, I mean, we're 0.25 away on each side, 0.5 overall, but it is degreed and ready to go and have this monster together. Okay, so once you have that all zeroed and figured out, and you're done true zero set time and then you figure out these and so you spin this guy well so there's a there's a middle step in there to figure out where your pointer goes yours is set to 39 and uh, normally he says he sets it to about 0.5 that's right here point 0.039 that's our duration one millimeter valve lift duration so that's where we set that so then we'll see the, the open so we're spinning it whoa overshot that by a mile So 40 and 60 on the same mark. So we go right to the one. Maybe they'll come down here. And they'll look at this. And you'll see that's like. Okay, so you see it's the 120, I'd be like 121 or 59, maybe 59.25. But this is before bottom dead center, after TDC, but it's closer to before bottom dead center, so you would use the 59, which is what we have here, the 59, okay, and then go, so you spin it, once you have that, you spin it all the way through, two, so there was, it passed zero twice there, you, we missed it because I went so fast, but so we have one, two, three, Four. Okay, now we're gonna go past our mark a little bit. It's gonna bounce and it's gonna go back. So we go one, two, three, four, four. Four. And then you see we're right on there at seven. That looks like we have seven, seven. Oh. It might be a little. Ooh. Oh, you gotta do the other side. Get that to zero. Mm -hmm. And of 
Oops. I always always shoot the first one. Opening. Okay, so once you get your zero down here and you have it at true TDC, then you go to your cam card or whatever and you figure out your duration. This one's one millimeter, and then our gauges are in inches, so we convert that to 0 0.039 inches. One millimeter equals 0 0.039 inches. And so then we mark there at 39, 39, okay. So then we start and take side by spinning that guy. Oh, that was a little too far, so we're going to have to go back. And so we start the inside and take side. You zero that guy out. Bring it up to your duration of your valve length. Come down here. You check your pointer. You see this is TDC here, and this is going to be before TDC. So then you would do, I'd say, 21 and a half B TDC. And then you go up here and you write that down and you. Spin it one, two, three, four. Let's see, then it stops. And so that's just this cam, some little more, but you go back one, two, three, four, and we stop at our mark again. Stop at our point. We come down here. Look at the pointer. I see we're after bottom dead center. TDC is way over here. So we would use these blue markers being after bottom dead center. And that'll come out to 58. And then you'd write that down. So then that would be our intake cam would be would be 22 and uh, 58 and then you would go on to we used webcams they have a little converter on their website and it would just you put both your your numbers in both your uh, open and your close times or lift points and then you it calculates your numbers for you and tells you uh, exactly where you are and if you need to go back some or forward some all right guys so after you get everything degreed and you get all your stuff there you're going to want to <coughs> pull each one of these individually lock tight them so nothing moves and then you're going to have to pull this all back apart and pull those two pins back out and put the uh, VTEC factory pins back in so it'll have VTEC. You have to retime it all, of course, and do all that again, but then the cams are going to be on point. You won't have to worry about a, any valves kissing or any of that goodness. Bing, bang, boom, swap those pins out. All right, guys, so got it all back together. I got it all timed. See, I made... My mark there, made marks here, just so I can see all that easier. Now I'm doing a valve adjustment to make sure everything's right. Do it at seven and nine. You know, just basic valve adjustment. Should be pretty sweet.